Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to go through a couple of things with you. The first thing we're going to go through are these things that I've had in the backdrop for the last couple of videos. Now I'm not going to spoil the surprise, but I will just kind of show you the outside of these. Now these are actually for 365 Club members when they hit a whole year of being a 365 Club member. Now there's currently three people that are fast approaching being a member for a whole year on my channel. So I wanted to get something very special made up for them when they did. Now TSC, he was my first ever paid member, paid premium 365 Club member. Now my membership costs $4.99 a month. And that gives you priority reply to comments. It also gives you first access to my videos. My videos go live to 365 Club members first, sometimes up to a whole week before they actually go live to everyone else on the channel. And it also gives access to surprise giveaways and updates and behind the scenes footage that is not seen on the actual channel. So in order to say thank you to those of you that have been loyal 365 Club members, like I said, I've gone out and I've got some very special pieces made up. Now, TSC was my first 365 Club member, and he's been a member for, I think it's 11 months now. So he's very, very close to being a member for a whole year. And once he is a member for a whole year, his badge next to his name will change. And I'll be shipping one of these out to him. So really, really looking forward to doing that. I'm not going to spoil the surprise. Once he's received his and he's unboxed it and showcased it on his channel, then I will also showcase one of these on my channel to show you what they are. But for now, I'd like to keep it a surprise because I think it would be really cool for the first person that receives one of these for it to be a complete surprise and let them showcase it on their channel first if they've got a channel. And obviously TSC, he's got a channel. So he'll be able to showcase it on his channel when I send it to him. So that's what I've had made up for the 365 Club members. Thank you very much for all your support. I really, really do appreciate it. Now to celebrate me having these three made up, I decided to unpackage number three today out of my parcels that I've got saved up. But before we do that, I wanted to show you these 50 P's that I got from my work vending machine. Now this is a trick and I can't remember exactly who showed me this trick but it was a YouTube video and if you go to a vending machine and you put in a pound coin and then you click the reject button and it gives you 250p's you can keep doing that process over and over again so when you get 250p's that come out you can pop them back into the vending machine press the coin reject button and then you get another 250p's. And you can literally just keep doing that over and over again with as many 50 p's as you want until you find the ones you want to keep hold of. So on my lunch break today at work, I kept putting in 50 p's into the vending machine at work, kept clicking the coin reject. Every time I got a bog standard 50 p, I put it back in. And every time I got a commemorative one, I kept hold of it. And after doing that for some time, I ended up with these two. So really, really cool to add to my 50p collection. Both 2023 with King Charles on them. So yeah, just a little trick there for those of you that have vending machines at your workplace or in supermarkets or wherever you see them. Just try it. Put a 50p in, press reject and see if it gives you a different 50p from the one you put in. And if it does, you can just keep doing that over and over again until you get all the commemoratives from it. So I'll put them over there. They'll go in my 50p album when I get round to it. And let's get straight into today's unboxing. Now I'm going to still be using this knife until I get round to sharpening my one. Side of Salman has actually sent me a very, very detailed tutorial on how to sharpen it. So I'm going to sharpen it very, very soon. But for now, I'm going to be using this different knife. Wow, what have I got here? What is this? This is a, looks like a proof Britannia box. Now this is what is so good about having all these parcels that have built up. Some of them I've had for months now and I've literally completely forgotten 
what I've ordered. But this looks very interesting. It looks just like a box that you get when you buy a proof coin from the Royal Mint. But I can't recall buying it from the Royal Mint and it's not Royal Mint packaging, so it must have been from the Silver Forum, I'm guessing. Ah, I remember this one now. This is really cool. So this is a 2017 proof Silver Britannia. And the reason I picked this up is because I thought the design looked really, really clever. The actual whole Britannia design is shaped like the UK map. Wow, I completely forgot about this. What a gorgeous looking presentation box. This is nice and kind of squidgy. Really, really elegant. Wow. And let's have a look at the coin. Look at this. Wow, what a surprise piece. I did not expect to be unboxing a proof piece today. So you can see it is number... 358 and that is a total mintage of 7,500 in these presentation boxes and in total you've got 10,800 so a relatively low mintage got a little booklet here I'll let you pause it if you would like to read it in more detail There you go, that's where the original Britannia design came from, the cartwheel two pence. And the 1987 gold bullion Britannia was the first year that they released the Britannia in gold. And then it was 10 years later they released it in silver. So let's have a look at the actual star of the show. Already this looks incredible. Wow, look at that. Now, there's already a few milk spots and blemishes that I can see, but we have all come to accept that with raw mint products, which is a shame, but I suppose it is what it is. But what a gorgeous looking design. You've got the Britannia there shaped exactly like the map of the UK, if you can see that really really nice looking piece and again you've got a few blemishes on the back but overall it looks in very very good condition i'm not going to actually handle it today because i haven't got any gloves on but you can see the actual mirror parts of the coin look very very nice what a stunning design really really cool really really glad i picked this up actually I remember when I first saw this on the Silver Forum, and it just really stood out. Look at that. That side actually looks really, really nice. It's been a while since I've showcased a proof piece on the channel. Although saying that, I showcased a proof gold piece in yesterday's video. But I don't often pick up silver proof coins now. I am actually in the middle of collecting the Tudor B series. But once that is done, I'm not going to be picking up many proof pieces. But what an absolutely stunning design. Really, really like that. Really, really chuffed with that coin. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you like this design? I know it's quite a unique and acquired taste, so... You might not all necessarily like it, but I think it looks really, really nice. I'm not going to mess around with that capsule now. I need to put that back properly off camera. But yeah, that's really cool. So thanks very much for watching today's video. A nice unexpected surprise there. Like I said, thank you very much to the 365 Club members. TSC, not long now until one of these will be winging its way to you. As always, thanks very much for all the support, and I hope you have a very nice day.